Today's lesson is on resume adjectives. So we're talking about some of the fundamental information that you will be including in your resume that describes you, okay, and the job that you are looking for. Again, this is all a part of our vocational preparation unit, getting you prepared and ready for the work environment and to hopefully attain the career or job that you want. So what are resume adjectives? Well, as you know, adjectives in general are words that help describe things. And so resume adjectives in particular are those wonderful descriptive terms that help to capture the essence of who we are as employees and workers. So these adjectives describe or tell in greater detail things like our preferences, what we like or want to do, our job performance, what kind of worker are we, and of course our personality. What do we bring to the workplace community that is different or unique or that just adds to the overall cohesiveness of the um, workplace culture? So here are just some examples of resume power words, as well as some res resume adjectives. Um, there, of course, as you know, a ton of different adjectives. And so we're gonna go over the ones that we're likely going to want to use in our resume to describe ourselves and the goals that we want. All right, so let's talk about preference adjectives. So on your resume, you're, you're going to write down some preference adjectives. These adjectives are used to um, describe the ideal job or work environment that you are seeking. So in order to choose uh, appropriate preference adjectives when writing your work objective statement, which is gonna go on the top of your resume, you must know some information about the job you're applying for, okay? So what type of environment is it? Okay, is it a quiet environment? Is it indoors? Is it loud? Is it outdoors? Is it fast paced, self paced, slow paced? What job responsibilities are involved? Are you working with technology? Are you working primarily in the service industry? So you're working with customers and other people? And of course, who will you be working with? Which we kind of touched on just now. Are you going to be working with customers? Is it solely your peers, um, your coworkers in whatever setting? Uh, are you working in a healthcare setting? Are you working in a restaurant setting? Are you working, um, you know, in uh, like a computer setting where you're helping people online as opposed to in person? So these are all things to consider when you are writing that work objective statement. So you want to be detailed because it shows that A, you know what you're talking about and B, you, you have goals, you know what you want to do. You have um, clearly defined what it is that you are looking for in a job and hopefully the job opening that you're applying for lines up with those career goals. All right, so here we have two pictures. On the left, there's a man, he's working on his computer, there's other people around him. It seems like he's got his own cubicle. And then on the right, we see, oh, it's, it looks like it's a restaurant service industry setting. There's a lot of people. It's probably very loud. So let's think of some preference adjectives that can be used to describe these work environments and um, some of the responsibilities that might entail, okay? So for the left, I would say that this job is quiet, technologically driven. It's indoors self-paced or um, maybe slower paced. Just because it's indoors and works with computers does not by any means mean it is slow paced. But this is just an example. I don't know the specifics of the situation. And it seems to me like this is a small group oriented position where you're probably working with a cohort of peers um, within a department. So maybe it's like the IT department, maybe it's an accounting or just clerical data entry. Whatever the case, it seems like it's pretty small. And so you might use some of these adjectives in your work objective statement to indicate that this is the job that you're looking for. On the right hand side, it's kind of the opposite, right? It's loud, hands-on, interactive, teamwork oriented, right? Because when you're a server, you have to really be on the same page as all the other um, waiters and waitresses, the hostess, you know, the kitchen staff. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, dynamics of communication going on there. It's fast paced, right? You gotta be on your toes, you need to be moving. 
You also have to um, multitask. So you're taking food orders, you're checking on food, you are um, checking on customers throughout the course of their meal to make sure that you know everything's up to their standards. So these are just a few adjectives that might describe these two job um, environments in terms of your preferences, okay? All right, so let's talk about performance resume adjectives. Pretty simply, performance adjectives describe your personal characteristics when it comes to working in a job environment. So these are words that describe your observable actions and skills when it comes to work. So what is your approach to work? How would others describe your work, work ethic? Okay, what, um, what's your, you know, your morals and guidelines when it comes to work? How do others perceive your strengths when it comes to work? So here we have two pictures. Um, the man on the left, as you can see, he's got a lot going on. He's, he's juggling coffee, a clock, his phone, his, I don't know, a, a magazine, a book, something, some pens, a piggy bank. That's a lot. And the woman on the right is very zen. She, you know, seems calm, focused, honed in. So let's, let's see if we can describe them, okay? Their personalities, or not their personalities, sorry. Their performance adjectives. So I would say this man is probably hardworking. He is passionate because if you're doing a lot at once, you have to really care about what you're doing to just sustain that level of energy. Okay, so hardworking, passionate, attentive to detail. He's probably a self starter since he's got a lot of stuff going on. He's probably motivated and responsible because once you start these things, you got to follow through. Whereas on the right side, this woman is calm. She seems focused, okay? Maybe she's really reliable because she's reached a point where she's just, she understands what to do. She's got a good work-life balance. She's probably creative and skillful, independent, right? And conscientious. When you're calm and focused, you tend to be more, um, just considerate of all the aspects of your job because you're not clouded by some of the fogginess that can come with juggling a lot at once. And so these are both, you know, great approaches to work. These are both great performance adjective areas. And for the very last one, personality adjectives, we've actually gone over before. And uh, personality adjectives are actually your personal traits, those aspects of your inner being that make you unique. So your personality adjectives are important because they indicate what you will bring to the workplace culture and how your personality will fit with the existing employees at the company. So ultimately, it's, it's important to find a work environment that complements your personality so that you feel fulfilled, right? You feel happy and you are able to get along harmoniously with your peers. So some personality ad personality adjectives that you might indicate on your resume are you are helpful you're friendly, you're caring, all right? Um, you're ambitious, you like to get stuff done, you know? You are considerate. Uh, you have a good uh, dynamic, all right? You're able to, you know, kind of go with the flow, you're flexible. You um, might put down funny on there. Uh, I, I think it is good, honestly, to have a, like, a decent sense of humor when it comes to work, while also, of course, balancing the seriousness seriousness of work. Um, but putting things down like you know, funny, friendly, helpful, uh, competent, confident those are all great personality adjectives that can you know really separate you and make you stand out from other job applicants. Okay, and we'll go over uh, this more in class in terms of where you would likely put these adjectives. We just want to share out what they are. So there's preference, performance, personality. 